The Israeli genocidal war continues to kill and destroy every aspect of life in Gaza. For 74 days, the Israeli war machine has been destroying entire neighborhoods and civilian infrastructure. Not to mention the mass killing of our people everywhere, including in their homes, in hospitals, or in shelters. In spite of the official statements about the dire humanitarian repercussions of the Israeli aggressions and the need to reduce the targeting of civilians, the U.S. administration is complicit in this Israeli crimes, which wouldn't have happened without such shameful American cover and support. Indeed, the U.S. should be held accountable for hindering international efforts to end the aggression on Gaza. We affirm our position of categorically rejecting to hold any form of negotiations over prisoners exchange under the continuing Israeli genocidal war. We are, however, open to any initiatives that contributes to ending the aggression on our people and opening the crossing to bring in, to bring in aid and provide the relief to our Palestinian people. Finally, we stress our firm position enshrined in the international law and international humanitarian law that we have the full right to resist the Israeli occupation by all available means. What we are doing is an act of self-defense against the long-lasting oppression in our, uh, to, against our people. Glory and eternity to our martyrs very soon and recovery to the injured and victory to our people.